in this video we are going to discuss super node analysis in node analysis or in super node analysis the first step is to identify the number of nodes what do you mean by node when two elements are connected that point is called as node this point it is a node but this is a simple node if more than two elements are connected then that point is called junction node if more than two elements are connected that point is junction node in order analysis we will use junction node we will not use simple node we will use junction node so we need to identify the number of junction node in this circuit as we can see at this point three elements are connected one element second element and third element so this is our first node i am going to mark the voltage at this node as v1 at this node the voltage is v1 now this is the second node here three elements are connected resistor resistor and a voltage source so i am going to mark the voltage at this node as v2 okay this is my node i am going to mark the voltage as v2 now at this point three elements are connected voltage source resistor and again one resistor so this is my third node i am going to mark the voltage at this node as v3 in this question there are three junction nodes so there will be three nodal equations there will be three node equations but we can see that there is a voltage source between two nodes between two nodes you can see a voltage source that problem is super node analysis when there is a voltage source between two nodes it is called as super node analysis we need to do super node analysis first of all we can write the nodal equation at node 1 what we will do we will assume that all this is our junction node okay we will assume that all currents are flowing away from that junction node we will assume that all currents are flowing away from the junction node then we will apply kirchhoff current law kcl that is the sum of current will be equal to zero i1 plus i2 plus i3 will be equal to zero if i am assuming this current is i1 this one i2 and this one i3 then the sum of that will be equal to zero so at this point i am assuming that the currents are flowing away from the node okay i'm going to find i1 i1 is the current flowing through this direction but as you can see here there is a current source the direction of current it is like this and it is opposite to our assumed direction direction from the current source is like this but from node the direction is like this it is opposite so we will write negative sign negative 10 ampere okay plus i2 i2 is the current flowing through this branch how to get i2 we know according to ohm's law v equal to ir so i equal to v by r what is v that is our v1 so v1 divided by r r value it is 3 ohm so v1 by 3 now for getting i3 what is i3 i3 is the current flowing through this branch this branch so for getting i3 again v by r that is v1 divided by 2 ohm but as you can see here this 2 ohm resistor is common to both the node and we are writing node equation with respect to node 1 so we will write v1 minus v2 divided by 2 v1 minus v2 divided by 2 that is equal to 0 that is equal to 0 now v1 times we can do v1 times so i am taking v1 by 3 plus v1 by 2 minus v2 by 2 then this minus 10 i am going to take it to the other side then it will become minus will become plus 10 now v1 and v1 are common i am taking it outside then it will become 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 minus v2 by 2 equal to 10 now cross multiplying we will get 2 plus 3 is 5 then 6 so v1 into 5 by 6 minus v2 by 2 equal to 10 that is our first nodal equation now in normal procedure we will write the second nodal equation then we will write the third node equation but as you can see here a voltage source is there in between two nodes then we need to do super node in super node what we will do we will write we will combine both these equations node 2's and node 3's equation we will combine i will show you so node 2 what will be the nodal equation at 2 we will assume that all currents are flowing away from the node so the first equation v2 minus v1 by 2 v2 minus v1 by 2 plus then the current flowing through this branch i wrote the current flowing through this branch then i need to find the current flowing through this branch that is v2 divided by 1 current is i equal to v by r v it is v2 r it is 1 
so we need to divide by 1 plus now this is a current but here we can't find the current because there is a voltage source so we will avoid that region then we will write the third node's equation we will combine this node's equation so third node's equation is v3 then here we can see a 10 volt okay so v3 minus or plus here it is plus side here it is minus side and in node 3 again if you assume the current all currents are flowing away from the node then here the current flow is like this but from 10 volt source this is a positive so current will be flowing like this so currents are in opposite direction so we will write negative side so v3 minus 10 divided by r value r value is 5 plus then this region that is v3 divided by 2 v3 divided by 2 so up to this much this is the node 3 equation this is node 2 equation we will combine both these equations now the first term it is v1 so we will write minus v1 by 2 we are going to split everything okay so v1 v one term it is minus v1 by 2 plus v2 by 2 plus v2 by 1 plus v3 by 5 plus v3 by 2 then minus 10 by 5 equal to 0 it is equal to 0 that is sum of current will be equal to 0 now v1 there is only one term so minus v1 by 2 plus v2 is common for both this equation so i am taking v2 outside then 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 plus v3 is common to both these terms so v3 taking outside then it will become 1 by 5 plus 1 by 2 then this minus 10 by 5 it is 2 i am going to write it after the equal to sign then minus will become plus 10 by 5 it is 2 okay now cross multiplying first it is minus v1 by 2 plus 1 plus 2 it is 3 so 3 by 2 v2 plus 2 plus 5 it is 7 7 by 10 v3 equal to 2 that is our second equation since there are three nodes we need three equation now we got only two equations so we need one more equation how to get that from here look at here v2 and v3 a source is between v2 and v3 so i am going to write the equation v2 okay now here it is plus sign so current will be flowing from plus okay so these two direction are in opposite direction from this node the current will be we will assume that all currents are flowing away okay so current is flowing away but from this 20 volt source here there is plus and here there is minus so current will flow from plus so these two current are in opposite direction so we will write minus 20 then again this v2 and v3 is current are in opposite direction so we will write minus v3 equal to 0 from this we can write v2 minus v3 equal to this minus 20 i am going to take other side so it will become plus 20 that is my third equation now i got three equations now we have three equations so there are three unknowns so we need to find the value of v1 v2 and v3 so that we can use the calculator press on then mod button three times then we can see equation so press number one then unknowns we need three values there are three unknowns so we will write three now a1 take the first equation the value near v1 it is 5 by 6 the value near v2 it is minus 1 by 2 okay minus 1 by 2 then there is no v3 term so we need to write 0 then the constant it is 10 okay now the second equation the value near v1 it is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 near v2 it is 3 by 2 then near v3 it is 7 by 10 then the constant it is 2 now the third equation there is no v1 term see there is no v1 term so we will only write 0 v1 okay so 0 then v2 it is near v2 it is 1 near v3 it is minus 1 and the constant it is 20 so the value for v1 it is 18.9 now v2 it is 11.57 and v3 it is minus 8.42 volt now suppose think that in the question they are asking us to find the current flowing through this 5 ohm resistor how to find the current i equal to v by r what is v this 5 ohm resistor is common to both the voltage source so it is our assumed direction is like this okay so v3 minus 10 divided by r value it is 5 v3 we already got v3 the value it is minus 8.42 minus 10 divided by 5 it is going to be minus 3.68 ampere here we get a ne negative value see negative value so negative value means 
our assumed direction is like this but actually the current is going to flow like this opposite that means because of that the negative sign we assume that the current is flowing like this but our assume what we assume is wrong because we got a negative sign so the current will be flowing from this 10 volt source through the resistor to the node 